I have insurance and so I don't need to focus on anything else other than just my physical well-being because a bike is completely replaceable and the fact that you have insurance and that you're protected and you're covered all you need to do is focus on yourself and getting yourself better like I'm gonna try and I'm gonna take risks and I'm gonna take chances because why else why would you not right I'm Alicia Speak I'm 37 I'm a full-time lawyer but I'm also a cyclist for Cycle Team London now then, let's kill the 90s club music. We've got a bit of a fashion show coming up here. Now you think of Fabian Cancellari, you'll probably think about the monuments, you'll think about the World Time Trial Championships, you'll think about the nickname Spartacus, but 29 times the Swiss legend, and he's deserving of that title, led the Tour de France, 29 times. 29 jerseys. They're all here for your viewing pleasure. He has a product to launch later on, but we're going to get some stories from behind those yellow jerseys. We're going to get some stories from the Tour de France. Please welcome the legend that is Spartacus, Fabian Cancellara. Welcome. Thank you, thank you. Have a sit down. First of all, how are you? Good. Happy to be in London? Yeah, I'm happy to be here. You've been uh, riding your bike today, haven't you? Yeah, Sigma, ah. small ride, Richmond Park, but we don't go into details now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no Strava segments on the climb or no, anything? Like no corner segments, nothing, just a cruiser ride. There was some deers around, and that was actually untypical British London weather, right? Yeah, we brought the weather out just Yeah, we just We bored the sun. We bought the sun. <laughs> Right, without further ado, um, the idea, you, you guys came up with the idea for tonight. Basically, I'm going to go to this fashion show behind and pick some jerseys that I think look all right. I'm going to bring them back here and we're going to talk about them. So I'm going to start. Is that okay? Yeah, you have a lot of choices, right? I have quite a few. Where am I going to start? Well, being a big fan of Italy, this name is crying out at me. Fassa. This is where it all started in terms of success for you. Obviously, you are at Mappe before that. Yeah. Um, you have Italian ancestry. Where's this one from? We're Tour de France Italian 2004, now? Fassa. Yeah. Where did it come from? How did you get it? Yeah, you picked the first one. So it's actually the first yellow jersey I got from the prologue. First Tour de France. Uh, yeah, got some tears. Winning on debut. Winning on debut and jumping into a new world. Uh, into those yellow and yeah, and Fassa Bortel have been not so used with those colors. <laughs> Giancarlo Ferretti was another type of personality. And yeah, I beat Lance, I beat all the favorites with, uh, with my style, with my way. And uh, yeah, it was amazing, it was special. I mean, for Switzerland, it was, was huge. For myself, it was huge. I still remember my uh, special Adidas red. Swiss shoes I had, like, <laughs> no, it was, I mean, it was amazing. I think um, winning as a young rider, a prologue. Oh, that's all right. Just don't move. That's your radio. That's your race radio. Uh, my race radio, I think right. my race radio wasn't working at that time. <laughs> um, no, it's, I mean, you, you go to the tour first time and, and the team wasn't like made for a time trial or prologue because in, with Giancarlo was more, we go to races and we go for win, but we not go for this special thing about time trialing. But I have it in, yeah. in the legs. Bit, tell me a bit more about Giancarlo Ferretti, because he ran the team. He was a, such an important guy, of course, in cycling with everything that they achieved. Uh, it's still a legendary name. Now, in fact, every time I go past a factory in Italy, I think of the team, you can see the, the huge sort of logo plastered on cement mixers and things like that. Ferretti, though, was a, he was a... General. S yeah, he, he, he was like... Being in the army, wasn't it? He was from morning early to evening late talking and commanding and <laughs> to the staff, to us, uh, in the car after the race. I mean, you've been at the, in the bus in the back like half dead and he was there and talking and you close your <laughs> eyes or not, I think he hasn't even oh, any clue. He came to your room uh, in good or bad humor. Uh, you know, yeah, it depends the way we've been racing. But it was a big, uh, big learnings. Um, was an important uh, period to race with Giancarlo. But right. yeah, I think it's uh, yeah, it, it, 
Fasse Worte oder mein Awesome Times. Awesome times. There's no price on this one, so I can't buy it. So no, I'm just going to put it back on the rack. No, I think only Mr. Sir has <laughs> a few ones. Mr. He's a collector, so I how gave many, him... How many of these have you kept, actually? Yeah, honestly, I mean, sounds pity, but I had a full box still of a lot of jerseys. And, yeah, one or... There's ones in a while missing ones or the other, but on the end you had good people around. You gave one around for charity reason or for the sponsors. But this one, yeah, this is legend. <laughs> Now, this one, this one I picked up because it's a bit different. You can see it's a podium jersey, yeah. so it zips up at the back, or you get it zipped up for you. But the year interests me. At the front it says Le Tour de France 2007. It's the first one of several in 2007. And you want it just down the road. Yeah, the second out of France. <laughs> <laughs> I was famous to not win in France. <laughs> so, um, 07, I think. Yeah, 07, 07. And talking about London for anybody, of course, who might London? have come to the sport recently. Ah, uh, yeah, London. where I catch the motorbike, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> You're a bit quick back then. I think this was an amazing start. Um, once for the sponsor and, and for sure also for the team. Uh, unlucky O'Grady crashed out. Uh, yeah, we're talking the a corners. new team here, aren't we? CSC. And, I mean, 06 was normally planned to be the first time on a tour, but then, no, Fabian, you don't go. But I went the year after, and I did the Giro, a few stages with Andy, support Andy Schleck, and then went home. Home race to the Swiss, and then I smashed. <laughs> <laughs> I smashed it, right? I almost catched uh, Cat Evans. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for him starting the tour, as a guy that wanted to win it, that must have been pretty demoralizing. <laughs> For me, it was a day of perfection. It was, um, yeah, yeah, I just had it. Just smashed it. I know you have contrasting memories of London. If we go back to 2012, obviously. But um, London? <laughs> <laughs> but is, is it, do you think about this when you come back here more? No. You think about Richmond Park? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> about everything. No, I think um, I'm, I'm always coming. I mean, I love to come back to London. I mean, on multiple ways, um, this evening is special. I mean, today the stage is here, but the other year the stage was there. Mm. Um, always a lot of fans, a uh, lot of people that are interested in cycling. Then the whole Britain movement on, on cycling, I think uh, it's amazing how, how cycling has grown in this country. Is that, is that something that you saw <laughs> when you came here? Were you, yeah. were you, I mean, did it, did it have an effect on you? Yeah, of course. I had like... My year's been like one <laughs> of all the people on the road. I think in 07, you start uh, on Tower Bridge. And I mean, then, then we went. On, and I tell you, I mean, there was six, seven people behind each other lined and on 180 kilometers. I mean, it was in the evening, you've been happy that you've been in the room and lie on the bed and, and have your freedom to not have people. And people were shouting and, and it was in Yorkshire the same. Um, every race I have done in the UK, it was like that. Of course, the Olympic, it was also uh, huge. Uh, yeah, some negatives, but on the other hand, this is sport, up and downs. This is part of when you do professional sports athlete. But I tell you, this day, yeah, that's a high one. Special one. Let's move on. Fabian's fashion show continues. I'm going to put this in the right place. That's the third one along. So you had two in 2004. But don't ask me here. everything, because I tell you, 29 days... You can't remember them all, come on. Mm, honestly, no. <laughs> but I remember multiple, I mean... Uh, yeah, I mean, I crashed a few days later in Ghent. How That's many days did you have it for in 2007? That's just 2007. Yeah, seven days. Wow. But That you was one. your joint record, wasn't it? Yeah, but you missed one. I missed one. Yeah, I don't mm. know. An important no, I'm one. I'm trying to remember the route now. On bike. 234 mm. kilometers. Mm. Six hours, 50 on the bike. Oh. Would that one be right? Well, maybe. Number four? Mm, no, an early one. Early three? I don't know. Maybe the people has any idea. Anybody remember 2007 <laughs> when special stages? No? Mm. I did have the list, actually. You have a <laughs> list? I did cheat this morning, but yeah, I I've had too much to talk about tonight, so I've forgotten it now. This was the idea. I'm struggling as well. I tell you, TV. Sorry? 
It was three or later, certainly three or later, wasn't it? Because we were in the UK for the first two stages. Brighton was the day after. We're down by that. Um, they had to shut down the TV because we've been too late. <laughs> Live coverage out. It was a long day. Yeah, headwind. Liège? Did we go to Liège? Like no. Yet? Help us out, guys. Brussels Compiègne. Brussels Compiègne. And Compiègne is a special day for you. I'm going to go number four or five. No, earlier. Woof. So the first two in UK, three? Yeah. Let's take this one. Let's take this one and imagine it's that. Um, Brussels. Belgium is obviously dear to your heart because yeah. of things that you've done. As is Compiègne because it's been the start of three very special days for you. Roubaix starts yeah. there. Yeah. But we ended uh, the tour there in a special way. I mean, today we was in the car and then said, hey, you're attacking 07 uh, <laughs> and Compiègne on those cops. Said, no, it wasn't an attack. It was an acceleration. Just an, just an acceleration. <laughs> but it wasn't the purpose acceleration. It was, I mean, this is the simplicity. It's four riders in the front, sprint the team there, not so much well organized. They said, ah, let's, I support them. So then we catch them back and we come together and I have again the yellow jersey. But somehow I just, yeah, just went, but not went on purpose. And then I hear in the radio, hey, you have a few meters, just go, go, don't look to the back. And untypically, my aero style wasn't super good, but in the end, at least it lasts for a win in yellow. Do you, in those earlier days, it, I mean, it, from watching from afar, it looked like it was just brute power. You're this big muscular figure. You got the nickname Spartacus, of course. Um, w was it much more about that than thinking about being aero or anything like that or thinking about mechanical stuff? Or uh, I lost the uh, bronze medal on the Worlds in Copenhagen because I've been uh, sprinting, not as a s in a sprinted position. I've been on the hoods, yeah. Uh, Aero-wise is not good, right? Or, yeah, no? So if you lose by this, yeah, got, didn't get the medal. <laughs> but a lot of learnings again. Yeah. But I think, yeah, I've been riding on those last kilometers when there was the chance to, to, to pull, was really like on purely power, even on, on the Fassa Bortolo, when we arrived in Charleroi, I was pulling in the yellow jersey. And, and, and Giancarlo came just to come back to Ferretti. He said, I didn't pay you to pull. I pay you to win races. He <laughs> said, yeah, but I do the proper job for three people. He said, yeah, but no, there's other ones. He said, yeah, but there are no one other ones left. So I, I was doing it. <laughs> yeah, but so this is all learnings. And um, that's why once in a while this can happen, but not every time. How did you manage the, I mean, we, we saw the results you managed all, but mentally, how did you manage the, the switching from being the helper, the looking after the GC guys, to going for your own results? Because obviously in the classics, it's all for you. You're the yeah, superstar. But, but when you're doing this job, it's a bit different because at the end of the, end of the three weeks, they want a Schleck in this jersey, don't they? Yeah, they want to win. <laughs> Who else? The team wants to win the tour. That's the first priority in whatever, which team you are as in a favorite team. But um, for me, it was a always easy to switch from being a leader, uh, supporting, getting for the balls, doing the dirty stuff in, in the front and, and eating all the mosquitoes because you go fast, <laughs> <laughs> going on the side because there was the wind, protecting the, the captains for the three weeks. And there was never an ego to say, ah, no, I want to do my own thing and, you know, one day more or less. But tell you, after seven days, I mean, it's fatigue, eh? it's <laughs> because you can't recover as the others. I mean, you do all the official processes. And, and yeah, behind this is so much going on. Instead, the other riders, they stay in the bus, they recover, they're easy. And you have one half hour proper still program to do with press conference, media, control. Yeah, all kinds of things. And, and that takes a lot of energy out. That's why after seven days, I was not happy I lost it. I was still unhappy. But on the other hand, it's like also some stress because it's the yellow jersey. It's the, the leader, it's the, the jersey that people seen and wants to see it. You mentioned that. How, well, I get another one. How special is this compared to your cobblestones and your monument? Where does this rate leading the Tour de France? Is, is this right up there with, with, with winning a monument? Surely it can't no. be. No. The monuments are another level. I think um, on 04, I said, I'm going to win the Tour. <laughs> but then I found out I'm a bit too heavy. 
Go, go back to that. What was, what was the yeah, thinking? Too heavy, there? you know? Yeah. Just was that, too was heavy. that a quick realization, or did you actually no. think, well, if I lose this weight, if I do this? Yeah, they all talked about five kilos, but five kilos, I don't know. Um, might be possible, but on the other hand, my nature is nature, so don't change it. And that's why the five kilo not really went away for the climbs. They went once in a while a kilo more or less away, but not for the climbs. I think it fits. I don't fit anymore <laughs> in that. <laughs> no, this is interesting because this is the only skin suit I can see there. So, 2009, I'm thinking early in the race. It was a hot day. Yeah, Montpellier. Montpellier. Team uh, time trial. And you took it. Yeah, by uh, zero point, what is it? Zero point three, zero point five, against this American dude. Who's that? Um, I don't know. He just missed a chance to get the jersey. That's why I think he doesn't like me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, as we heard before, he doesn't like a lot of people, that certain American dude. Uh, you know, I mean, racing. I mean, when, when I race, I race for win, and, and I certainly have to respect. And, but when it comes to, to win, then, of course, when it's to win, you want to win. And if you get still the jersey to 0 0.3, yeah, next time you make the tiger jump, <laughs> <laughs> then you probably have it. And, of course, was a super hard day and team trial, trial, trial is mostly like in, in, in those years was Fabian, you pull more than the others. Said, yes, I know. But you had your reward here. Yeah, I think this is also, um, it, it, it supports you, it gives you not wings that you go faster, but it's on definitely on a hard uh, moment, uh, you still feel you have the yellow. But you had it there. The team, by the way, has changed its name by this point. It's the same team, but it's changed its name. Yeah, there was some multiple, I mean, there was the same sponsor, one or the other, but then you had, um, had this Croft or you had uh, whatever. We had uh, all kinds of different variations of sponsors, partners. But um, in terms it's, of it's also nice to see the changes of the technology. Mm. Well, this is very different, for example, from, from that, which is quite yeah, this thick. This is a windshield. <laughs> <laughs> but That's a winter jersey now, isn't it? Yeah, and I tell you, when it's really warm. Oh. Um, did you ever get annoyed at having to wear a different make of kit, which wasn't your own, which wasn't the same fit that you used to? So this is, this is made by Nike. Um, all these others are oh actually all the way back made by Nike, Le all the way up sportif. to the Coq Sportif. Um, did that annoy you having to change from what you used to wear? Uh, most important was actually the pants with the chamois. The jersey, I mean, yeah, you get, you get the long. But still, there was no race, uh, there was no radio pocket. So you had to put, yeah, where you put. So that's why on the beginning was like annoying, but on the end it's a yellow jersey. So whatever, come on. <laughs> <laughs> One or a day less with the radio will not change. So I'm counting along again, along here. And that's another long stint. This is your joint record breaking stint, isn't yeah. it? Another seven days? Yeah, but I had a, a tour where I got the jersey and then I lost the jersey. Was a you lot got it back and yeah. you held it again, yeah. There was a lot of discussion. I think uh, people might remember or not, I don't know, but I remember well <laughs> because I got a lot of, you did it only for the brothers and brothers, I mean. Are we talking about Belgium? Yeah, again. <laughs> <laughs> and there was almost, how much? There was more than the half bunch on the ground and I said, what the hell we're doing? This is not, this is not any more racing. So let's roll and, and just easy to the finish. But on the other hand, that was my way of doing it, to not just look for my own ego. I mean, I said, damn, I lost the yellow jersey. Don't complain. But if you do things right in life, I think also things coming back. And that's why I think also the coming back on the stage on Wallers was a good one. Well, let's get on to that. 2012, is that right? Uh, yeah. 2012, different team hey, this but you've time. But you forget Monaco. I'm forgetting Monaco. <laughs> Forgetting Monaco. Wrong. I thought we were there. 2009, no. 2010. 2009. I thought it was 2009. It's the first one. Ah, yeah, you've got you them in the wrong order for me now. I tell you, with those days, it's actually <laughs> not easy. Do you have that also with other things? I, was, I, I reckon that, that's got to be just that I mean, I, Let, Let's put that one there. Imagine that's Monaco. Eh? What is amazing on everything on those jerseys is like all the prologues I have won, but not held in La France. No. <laughs> I haven't won anything in, I mean, beside uh, the 
prologue, no, the time trials and so on. But um, the prologue's been all outside France. Liège, double Liège, Monaco. Let's fast forward. It's a bit smaller, this. This is when Aero Fitz came in. Yeah, the this is... in size, is there? Yeah, small baby fat around. Bobby <laughs> fat. <laughs> this is, was like, you know, 215 two was my last... Your yeah. last jersey. My last Number jersey. 29. Yeah, I um, crashed out with 29 jersey. Yeah, because you... <laughs> Good or bad. Yeah, let's have that. <laughs> and I broke two vertebras. I was going to say, because 2015 was a pretty horrible year, apart from this for you, wasn't it? Because yeah. I think you cl crashed in the classics as well. Cla crash in Harlebeck. Yeah. You double break your vertebra. back as well, there. Double vertebra on the left, and then in the tour, double vertebra on the right. And then in the welter, you got sick, if I remember rightly. Ah, uh, don't talk about welter. Oh, sorry, man. <laughs> Forget that I didn't say that. Um, last yellow jersey, then. It's different, different manufacturer, different style. The team has moved on and become Trek Factory Racing by this point. What's going through your head? Do you know that it's the last one when you crash out, or do you think that you can still come back and win and take another? No, I think, um, of course, I've been preparing the, the, the prologue in, uh, wait, help me please, in, uh, was, damn, in Holland, was it Utrecht? Utrecht, yes. Yes or no? Yeah, Utrecht, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I'm having that, I think. I'm getting enough yes to suggest that we're right. Was it um, the Australian having the jersey? Rohan, Rohan Dennis. Rohan then Dennis. you took it just after that. Yeah, but I mean, you missed this chance. I said, damn. Then you knew, okay, they talked, yeah, it's maybe wind and maybe there's a chance. I said, yeah, let's see. Then there was wind. Nail to Jans. Yeah. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. Special finish. Mm. And the Tiger move was good. <laughs> was because they said if you catch or if you can finish with the front group uh, top three, you will get the jersey. And I tell you, it was terrible 10, 15 minutes after the finish line because no one had any clue about the, about the sprint and about the result. We was waiting, 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 and yeah, I got this, this chance to wear a 29 <laughs> time a yellow jersey and not have won the Tour de France. The man with the most yellow jerseys without ever having won the Tour de France. That's, that's a, it's a unique title. Certainly, can when you combine it with all the other things you won. Yeah, but it's if if you know, there was always, I mean, different years, and and people said, ah, I, I mean, wh when you'd say you won the tour, they point you differently than if you say ah, I was wearing 29 days yellow jersey, but I haven't won because I was too heavy and there wasn't the type of rider for it. I said, wow, it's like a different wow than if you win <laughs> on my side. But I think, I mean, I'm proud. The tour has given me a lot. Mm -hmm. um, it has also taken a lot. I mean, I, I now France blind. Always have to spend <laughs> a month free holiday in France. So you don't go back on holiday now? I love the Tarte de Pomme, <laughs> the Badois, <laughs> the Yogurt Vrai. <laughs> but time by time we had our cook, so we had less on all those uh, Pain Chocolat, right. Pague Frais, Campanile Hotel. Oh. You don't miss the Campanile but you know Hotels. What? <laughs> By all the years I have done the tour, and this hotel has been disaster on the beginning, but now they renovate it, mm -hmm. so the hotel's been... The company is good now. Yeah, no, because they change the mattresses, the, the furniture. So now it's actually good you do the tour. You have good comfort. But at my time, honestly, air conditioned, no. Oh. Or broken. Wasn't like that in my day, eh? In anyway. your days. <laughs> well, <I'm> saying, <laughs> you'll be saying that in 20 years' time. <laughs> um, so 29 yellow jerseys. Yeah. I think if you times that number by 10, you get 290, which is the number of shoes, special shoes, that have just been launched by some good friends of yours. So I think it's time to invite some very good friends of yours onto the stage from Suplest to tell us about their new shoes, the Fabian Cancellara edition. Thank you, Uncle. Thank you, Gentlemen, please have a seat. Welcome. Um. Thank you very much. You. So, uh, if you'd like to introduce yourselves, and of course, I think, I think that there might have been some racing going on here in, in the youth ranks between these two. Old adversaries. He beat me in cyclocross. <laughs> <laughs> Could he beat you now? I think it was more training for you, 
and the serious race for me, I think so. <laughs> but um, yeah, today we launched our brand new collection Edge Plus at Sigma Sport. And now we dedicate to this limited shoe to, to Fabian, 290 pairs only worldwide. So, yeah. First pair for you. That's right. 289 yes. left, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> tell, us, tell us about the shoe and why it's special. I mean, I think first I have to explain from where they're coming because I'm from Bern, they are from Bern. We've been racing together as young kids. And I think this is the beauty about, about Subplast and, and, and also uh, about the bicycle. You meet always people again. So that's why I'm, I'm really pleased to, to, to join them and creating something nicely together. And that's why I'm highly uh, proud of this 29, but I'm highly proud also about something special like this. And it's like Christmas, Eastern, happy birthday and all kinds of things. <laughs> <laughs> it's all come at once. Um, so 290 pairs of this, but you launched the original version of the shoe as well today, which I guess that people can buy a little easier than the, than the limited edition? Yes, from it will be uh, end, end by the end of the year, and this shoe will be launched, like officially launched uh, in March. And all designed in, in Switzerland by you guys? Right, right. I mean, the, the special thing about the shoe is gold, and I mean, who else, like in Fabian, can really have gold on the shoe, you know? That's I mean, not real yeah. gold, uh, <laughs> otherwise... Oh, you've disappointed me then. Yeah, but it's gold, but you know, <laughs> otherwise we have to put it in a closet, like in a, in a, in a safe, and then... <laughs> <laughs> or maybe in your sauna with the cobblestone. No, 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 the sauna is special with the stones. <laughs> Anybody wants to know about that story, by the way, pick up a copy of Ruler from a few years ago. It's a very, very good read. Um, so you're going to be wearing these? Yes, of course. Your own personalized pair. Yeah, the thing is also colors, you know, black, white, red, uh, which color, and I said, honestly, when we talked about the, about the colors, is, and now I want to hear also from you, who does clean the shoes <laughs> after riding? <laughs> who does that? You see? No. Me too. I do not <laughs> clean them. First, I clean the bike, but not the shoes or the helmet. <laughs> so that's why I think on plus for me, when we started uh, to create something, I said, hey, um, I think that's, that's perfectly, so, uh, I mean, there's also white shoes, don't worry, yeah? because people maybe doesn't like this or that, but I think it's, um, it's a nice match, and um, as, as, as coming from Bern, um, yeah, it's, and it's even more nice. So some Swiss precision shoes, and we've seen some Swiss and international history here. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, Suplest and Fabian Cancellara. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. You don't steal them, huh? Oh, no, 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 no. They're locked away now. <laughs> right then, ladies and gentlemen, next up, all there is going to be chatting tactics and a brilliant career with a man who's now a London resident. It's Simon Gerrans coming up next. <laughs> 